Thanks for joining me on my next video. In this video I'm going to be replacing the uh, igniter on a Weber Genesis Silver barbecue. It's about uh, 20 years old and in my last video I, uh, I showed how to change the burners on it. So the igniter is just underneath here. This is the original igniter. The issue I have is it takes about 10 to 12 times for it to ignite. So it's, it's done its job. It's lasted quite a bit. I found myself uh, an igniter online for this. So this is what I purchased. And as I mentioned, it's just going to sit underneath here. So I'm going to take this apart, show you how to replace it. If you look underneath here, I'm not sure if you can see that or not, but that's where the igniter is. And it just goes inside there. As you can see, my burners are new. My previous video, I showed how to change those burners. So I'm going to remove uh, these two Phillips screws that are in here. There's one inside there, and there's one inside here. And you should be able to get a screwdriver through this end without a, any issue. There's a little opening right here. And Similarly on this side there's another opening so you can get access to that screw. Remove the two Phillips screws. Now all I need to do is just pop off the uh, controls here, the dials. And simply just lift up this whole unit here to access the, uh, the igniter. So don't need to do anything with the push button, that just stays there so you can just put this aside. And now you have access to the igniter, which is right here. This is the piece that gets pressed as you push on that button. In retrospect, I know when I did the video for changing the burners, I didn't remove this top plate, but in retrospect, hindsight, I guess I should have removed it. It would have been a lot easier installing those burners. So something to take into consideration for the next time, if there is a next time. Okay, so to remove the uh, igniter, there's these two clips here. I don't know if you can see them or not. There's one right here and there's one on the other side. Basically just squeeze them and as you squeeze it, kind of lift up and that's pretty much it. So I'll show you from this end. Those are the two, uh, the two clips I was referring to for you to squeeze from underneath and then just press up. So that's how you remove the igniter on this end. And now I'm going to uh, remove it on this end. Okay, so I've uh, removed the grills and the flavor bars. And uh, here's the igniter. And the way this comes off, there's a little clip here. It's been folded up, so what you do is get a screwdriver in there and just fold it back down. And then what we're going to do is uh, disconnect the cables. From the uh, igniter here just get a pliers and pull that off and then feed everything through on this end and then put in the new uh, igniter okay so here's the clip I was talking about just gonna put my screwdriver in there just fold that back down just get my finger in there and press it down and that's what keeps the igniter on that end inside the unit Okay, so on this end, as I mentioned, just um, pull the white wire off. I've already done this with a pliers, which just makes it easy, and this is just for demonstration demonstration purposes. So you can pull that off, and then the same with this one here, pull that off with the pliers, and there you go, that's done. So now that I've disconnected the cable from the button side, what you want to do is remove the white cable from the uh, this end here, just pull it off. And now that that's off, you can proceed to pull the igniter out inside the barbecue. So I do want to point out, if you look at the igniter here, this is the clip that was folded up that keeps the igniter in place. And this is where the white wire connects to. It's important when you put the new igniter in that that goes in the bottom. As you can see here, there's a little hole there that has to line up. That's where you want the uh, that little uh, 
end to go through so the white wire can connect to it. So as I mentioned earlier, this is the, the replacement part I ordered. Not sure if there's a part number on this or not. Just picked this up online. I'll show you the back of the box here if that helps. And inside here, you've got the new push button and the new igniter. So it's going to unravel that. So now that you've got this un unwound, what you need to do is remove the white wire from the igniter here so you can put the unit in. Okay, I had to do that off camera with two hands. So now I'm going to put this through. And as I mentioned, make sure that you put that little connector where the white wire is going to go into on the bottom. So I'm going to feed this through. And as I mentioned, white connector on the bottom. And make sure it goes through the hole. And that's this. Now that this is in, what I can do now is I can proceed to flip the uh, this little clip up. I'm going to do that off camera. Okay, so I just flipped that clip up. I just used my fingers. And now it's in place. So I'm going to take that white wire that I took off earlier. I'm going to reconnect it. Here's the end. Reconnect it to the bottom of the igniter where the little clip is. Sorry if you can't see this on the camera, but I'm trying to do this with one hand. Let me do that off camera. Okay, so I've got that connected. Now I'm going to proceed to connect the other end into the button. So the white wire connects here where my thumb's pointing to, and the black wire connects underneath here. I do that off camera as well. Okay, so I've connected the white wire as shown here and the black wire. And then I'm just going to proceed to put this back into the housing here. And as you can see, those right here is where the uh, right here that's where the two side clips on the button are going to go right there the two side clips so just bring it over make sure those clips line up and as long as they line up you should be able to basically just push the bus the button down until it clips in. Okay, so I got that done off camera. It's a little bit easier with two hands. So now it's firmly in place. And then basically proceed to put the cover back on. I'll put the two screws, put these back on, and then do a quick test. Okay, so I just... Uh, Replace the two screws that I had removed for this top cover, put back the knobs, turned on the gas at my gas valve. Now the moment of truth and see what happens here. There you go. Lit up within a couple of clicks. It's definitely uh, fixed my issue. So I've got the flavor bars and grills back in. And I did a quick test and it ignites within the first click of a button. There you go. You can probably hear that as well. Thanks for watching my video. I hope it helps you out. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.